So Scott, what is a faith web? Uh, faith web is a uh, takes a village to raise a child mentality for church life that goes beyond uh, church family. Uh, I think that's a loaded term with some baggage. Uh, faith web is an interlacing of relationships uh, that are invested in one another for faith development, for formation uh, into Jesus. Um, commitment uh, to one another, a connection, a prayer for one another, a, a uh, uh, developing an iron, sharpening iron uh, that is cross-generational, intergenerational, multi-generational um, for the edification of uh, life in Jesus. Um, so interconnected uh, interconnectivity um, what is a commitment in a faith web uh, what's the meaning of commitment uh, to uh, care about others more than ourselves to uh, love one another as Jesus loved us um, and so a commitment is to um, be willing to do life on life living um, with those who are younger than you, those who are older than you, uh, those who are um, in different walks of life, um, different stages of life, different chapters in their lives, um, to be uh, stronger together than we are separate. Why cross-generational? Because uh, the cross is in the center of it, and it's in the center of it all. Some guy told me that once. Um, you know, there's a lot of evidence that uh, one of the things that we're missing in our church society today and in our society in general today is the uh, multi-generational uh, grandparents infecting and implanting and ingraining in grandchildren their stories and the stories of faith. Um, and it just makes sense. There's lots of research that shows that uh, nothing bad can come when young ones are sitting at the feet of their elders learning the stories of faith and learning the stories of their family and learning the stories of their community and saying this is who we are, this is why we are this is what we are, this is how we are this is what we do um, Why are those stories so important? Well, they're the fabric of who we are um, They connect us to the Almighty They connect us to one another and they remind us that there's a story writer uh, who is authoring uh, our surroundings and, and who we are and um, it's how you know who you are, it's where your identity comes from in so many ways, um, our stories. Um, get personal, what do you want for your kids when it comes to Faith Web? Um, I want my kids to be surrounded by godly men and women uh, who are praying for them, who are encouraging them, who are calling them out, who are sharpening them. Uh, I want for my kids uh, to be influencers of others. Uh, there's nothing greater than walking into church and seeing my kids run from me to others. Um, seeing them run to uh, high schoolers that they have been praying for and prayer buddies with to uh, as watching as grandparents um, and uh, just pillars of the community uh, embrace them and know them and call them by name and um, there's a 93 94 year old uh, woman mama Jane who every time she sees me and every time she sees Ethan uh, gives him a quarter, which he loves, um, but just cares about him deeply and has invested in him. And she's, you know, in the latter stages of life, and he's still in his early stages. And to see uh, them talk and share is, is wonderful. And uh, to pray for her with him, um, and to know that she's praying for him, and, and it's it's what church is supposed to be. It's what the body of Christ is about. Um, what are you hoping for when it comes to uh, 
sharing your doctoral research with the whole church? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping um, to, uh, to find ways to make this a part, this faith web concept, um, a new vernacular, a new uh, uh, understanding or new uh, framework for how church can be church. And in uh, a world that is struggling uh, with family, and the nuclear family is uh, still around, but not nearly as prominent as it was. And we have blended families and uh, single parents and multi generated Just the, there's the f definition of family has expanded and broadened so widely that I think the faith web can not replace, but be a powerful ally in uh, family life, in family ministry, in household ministry, um, to say that there are others who care um, and are invested. And so hopefully being able to give that to the church and expand that will, will um, provide some ways for, for church to be church again and to, to grow together. What are some of the key components of a healthy faith web? Um, investment and um, a willingness to um, to care, to, to be, uh, do what Jesus called us to do um, in caring for one another and caring for the poor, the sick, imprisoned, impoverished. Um, I think that's all part of this faith web and it's um, Kara Powell in her, in her research uh, from uh, Fuller Youth Institute talks about reversing the trend. So many churches talk about a, a five to one youth to adult ratio every time the church group goes on a trip they try to have one adult for every five kids. And her mentality and her, her practice is what if we had five adults for every one child or every one youth. And not that all five need to go on the trip, but five people who are invested in the life of one of our youth. I think that's what a faith web is. Um, and to try and say, yeah, this is possible. And, and to leverage the, the power of technology and digital communication and social media um, to do that, I think, is good. And how can we take offline online and online back offline in terms of a relationship? So, so instead of having a a Facebook where my goal is to get a thousand friends or on Twitter to have so many followers. What if we developed a new mentality for social media that said, I don't want thousands, I want 10. And I'm willing to do life with them face to face, but then when we're apart from each other, do life online together. Faith to faith? Faith to faith, man, I like it. So uh, what would that look like? What would that look like as we uh, embrace this new age of technology and social media to, to find new ways to leverage that for the church. Maybe we wouldn't be blue in the faith. Yeah. <laughs> One could hope. Okay, uh, you're in an elevator. Uh, you have 30 seconds. Uh, why are you doing this? This is not a convenient time to do a doctorate. you got no. too many children, too many responsibilities, too many everything. Why are you doing this right now? this guy named Rich who said you should do this. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> no, uh, I am doing this right now because uh, <clears throat> there is absolutely, I'm not trying to think of 30 seconds, um, there's no way I should be doing this right now in terms of my time responsibilities, but looking at what I've done thus far and where I'm headed, there's no way I could not do this. Um, the return on my investment of that time and that energy has been tenfold. Um, Already, and you're only halfway through. I'm only halfway through. Mm -hmm. uh, my preaching's a little better, I think. Um, uh, Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, rekindled a fire for reading, for uh, thirst for knowledge and wisdom, and I think trying to uncover um, a little more of what my calling is uh, as pastor. How, how, what am I called to do besides preach and teach and word and sacrament and all those churchy ecclesiastical words? Um, I really, because of my family and our situation and where we are in life, uh, just a desire to 
to empower other families to be family and empower congregations to uh, care for one another in a faith web. All right. I'll ask you those questions so that you can get some B-roll. Okay. Okay. Is it still recording? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, Scott. <laughs> so I'm out here in the middle of German Lake with my friend Scott, and I'm wondering, what is a faith web? Um, why cross-generational? What else did I ask you? So you're 30 seconds in an elevator. You have uh, to tell somebody, why are you doing this? This isn't the right time. You've got too many responsibilities, too many kids, too many jobs, too many everything, and you're doing this now. Why are you doing this? What else did I ask you? Um, what do I want to do? What's this research for, for the church? Okay. So what are you going to do with this research? How are you going to share it with the church? What's your hope for the whole church, not just your life and your church? We've been with my friend Scott Ness out in the middle of German Lake in a lily pond, uh, wondering about the future of the church and the future of the future. Good job, Scott. Blessings. I can hardly wait to see the good stuff God's going to do with all of this faith web stuff.